Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? Trouble. Today, we got a combination. <laughs> Granny said trouble. We ain't getting into uh, no trouble today. But today, we're going to be doing um, a little update on the 350Z. For those that may have forgot about that car. Yes, I still have the LS3 350Z. We're going to be going to the body shop today. We're going to be checking on that thing. Jesse made some progress on it. But we're also going to be... Um, Fiddling with the C5, uh, realigning the front end, getting the new lip on. Pretty sure you guys have seen that the current lips on here has been broken for a while. Yeah, man, this lip has seen better days. <laughs> it's definitely seen a lot better days. So we're about, we about to have a run with the ZL1. All right, so just pulling up over here at Works Customs. We got B, what's up, fool? What's up, what's up? We got my man, Jesse. Oh, and the boss lady, you know what I'm saying? Boss lady. <laughs> and then we got baby J right here. Mm -hmm. Bro, look at her, look how fat she didn't got. <laughs> you didn't got so fat. <laughs> look at you, so fat. Look, <laughs> spit <laughs> bubbles. Who is it? You're so fat, look at <laughs> you. <laughs> and she grew hell of much, man. That's crazy. Yeah. How's daddy life? Just fucking loving it. Loving it, bro. <laughs> loving it. Don't know why I didn't start earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the vet in right now. 350's outside. I'm gonna be showing y'all that in a second. But yeah, was, <laughs> this is all boofed up. This is probably like my fourth lip y'all done seen. Uh, I did raise the vet up a bit. So hopefully this new lip will last longer. But yeah, we're just gonna be straight in the front end. You can see right here, we got like a little gap. And then this light's like tweaked a bit. We got the new front lip on. So um, just a heads up for all my other Corvette owners, I'm pretty sure you guys may or may not know that, well, I'm pretty sure y'all know that uh, Corvettes are bottom feeds. That's how we get air up to the radiator and stuff, and that's how the car stays cool. That's why there's that little under tray under there to basically help direct air up. So a lot of people have an issue with these style lips with um, it blocking the air passage right, right there at the front. It keeps the air from kind of going under the car. So some of y'all have said that you guys had over overheating issues and stuff like that. Um, I did notice a slight increase in temperatures, but I have the DeWitt's radiator with the small fan set up. So uh, my, my fans for a lot more CFM. So um, it went up a little bit, but not much. But originally when I first had this lip on here, I did cut the center out. And I think this time around, I'm gonna cut it out again. If this is blocked right here in the front, it will block your air passage to the radiator. Can 
cut this out or you can run it like this but just know temps will go up a bit some people have had overheating issues real bad with it but like i said i have a dewitt's radiator and small fan set up so i didn't notice a crazy increase in temperatures but it it does happen on my when i originally had my old setup i did cut the center out so this time around i'm gonna be cutting the center out again that way i can even see if it if it does um started getting hot but they do offer a different style lip that usually the c because this is a basically a c6 lip and it won't have these uh, ductings right here instead these will be closed off and the center would be open for the c5 for people that are interested it depends on the look you want but for functionality the other lip would be better because it does direct the air into the uh, the ducting where it needs to go but i like the way this lip looks so i'm gonna just cut the center out a little bit oh man we gotta we gotta keep this we need the gopro gap the gopro gap mount i can't get that thing off <laughs> all right let me go show y'all the 350z because i know y'all want to see this thing outside why we'll y'all want to see it being seen in the, in the light yeah no we'll push it forward though like because it's way the fuck over there we'll push it towards the middle it so there. you can see the ass what you mean leave it over there why you oh, ain't <laughs> Man, this thing is looking clean. What's well, looking clean for a project? Oh, yeah. It's all good. We're just having, you know, giving them time to catch up. That's all we're doing. Look at that. Woo. Body lines look wild on here. The side they they're working on now, reshaping. Look at that. Ooh. Man, this shit does not look like a magic cart, fool. <laughs> it does. Okay. No, the evolved version of it. Gyarados? Yeah. it oh, yeah, it does look like Gyarados. Oh, we're going to dub this thing. That's the nickname for this. Yep. Gyarados. All is sharp now. About to sharpen this one, too. But you know, got to follow the same tradition as the rest of the cart. Car going to be hella pointy. Yeah, it looks going to be symmetrical. Everything's going to fit. No overlapping. <laughs> and then, like I said, with the brackets we made, it's dirty. Me. Grab that QP, grab that QP and try to move it. Dude, this man in made brackets for everything. Look at it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but dude, look at how intricate the brackets are in there. Brackets are all panel bonded in and shit. There's brackets up here that are all molded in, metal brackets. It's a metal bracket that he made right along here that follows the whole, the whole uh, body line. That literally just keeps it all up. You can kind of see it right there. But the bracket is all molded in also. Then you can see where the, the rib nuts and everything are holding it. This man's not playing, man. Oh yeah, bracket to hold the, the side from flopping. Yeah. No more floppy bumper. Everybody's like, bro, it's taking hella long, it's taking hella long. I'm like, dude, you don't understand the amount of hours that is going into this thing. Like I said, everybody's thinking that you're coming in for a regular basic ass paint job that everybody's used to, but this ain't no basic ass paint job. Nah, bro, the whole body has been reworked. Y'all yeah. remember this shit before? Like, yeah. all this is sealed up? Oh, dude, and I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush that cap. I'm not even done. I, I don't like how it sits inside there. We're gonna bring it out and flush it part of the body. So, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that, you know, is gonna be unique to the car. But like I said, no one's gonna be able to touch it. Yeah, you know? this right, thing's sick. Close to it, you feel me? Dude, it looks good. Like the body looks, the body looks hella smooth. Like I'm loving the lines. It looks like a Nissan concept car that Nissan made. It looks hella aggressive. Factory. Hella wide, hella aggressive. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here admiring work, holding you up, man. Back to the admiring right here, dude. I don't think video gonna do no justice on how wide this thing looks in person. Looks like a ninja turtle from up the, from at this angle. <laughs> nice. So this side's gonna look with the Nismo wing. Inside that's different. And that was my plan for for this. A lot of people was like, "Oh, you should get a bigger wing." Like I didn't want a bigger wing. I wanted the wing to look small. That way the car looks super wide. It's gonna look good together. the details so said we're creating the light we're building this sharpening it out and it looks like the light is recessed in there you know make it look all nice and it's gonna fade just go back into the body cut. hey i can see it protruding yeah just little details like that it's gonna set it up 
can't wait. Look at that focus. That focus. And there you go, much better. The tab had broke over here, so had them panel bond that. Gonna let that sit. And new lip. Now the vet's done. They're jumping back on the Tree Fitty Z. Oh, you gotta show them my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, the only body shop I know that got an actual live band and shit. You know how we do. <laughs> <laughs> Know what the hell they saying but sound good i think he's saying something like yeah jesse about to finish my car and that shit's gonna be sick and he gonna be out here gapping shit yeah that sounded about right right now that's the course he gonna be smoking fools on the freeway smoking fools on the freeway <laughs> yep hey you get a burnout in the back <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm just now getting back to the house and I'm finally opening boxes that have been uh, here for the last couple of days. So all this stuff needs to go out. But man, before I end this video, I just want to show y'all this. I haven't even opened it yet. But check this thing out. Check this thing out. This is from one of my sponsors. Y'all know I've been sponsored by NRG for a cool, cool minute. Here, can you pull that out for me? I only got one hand. Ooh! Look at this beautiful wheel right here. This is their brand new uh, Forge Carbon wheel. They literally posted this thing, and I basically hit them was like, hey, I want that wheel for my, for my setup. And they were like, all right, we're sending it out. Brand new, bruh. I don't even know who else has this wheel, but I got it the day they posted it, so. Big thanks to NRG, man. I really do appreciate y'all for sending this out. They sent the whole quick release setup for the Fox body. We got this right here, short hub and the quick release. So yeah, man, thank you NRG. I'm probably not gonna put this wheel on the on the Fox body. This wheel will probably be going on the 
on the 350Z because of how clean it is. Plus the 350Z has a lot of carbon on it. Other than my uh, vets, I think the 350Z has a good, a good amount of carbon. So this is going on that car. This thing is beautiful. And these are my NRG seat mounts for the Fox body. So I'm gonna give Aaron my old seats that are, or my old mounts that are in there. And I'm gonna be running these my fox and he can take the other ones all right what's good my peoples it is the next day you guys know that this thing made 650 horsepower at eight pounds uh i didn't have find it it had a so i didn't find it it had a huge boost leak at the pvc the line had actually popped off <laughs> So we were actually losing boost from there. That's why the boost didn't continue to climb like we were expecting it to. But seeing as um, how I had made a purchase and I placed the order for another pulley and belt combo. So I'm downsizing this one size. You guys know that I have the four or five pound uh, addition pulley in the back if I wanted to, but I feel like that would be on the edge of my fuel system. And I, don't, I really don't want this thing on the edge of what it actually can do. Um, I know this motor is fully built. It's capable of doing a thousand. I only want this car to be at 700 anywhere from 6 uh, 680 to about 720 is the goal for this thing that way uh, my injector duty cycle isn't high I'm really not trying to go over 85% um, currently we're at about 68% at 8 pounds so this pulley right here should add about 2 to maybe at most 3 pounds that should net us around um, somewhere between 10 and 11 pounds and that should definitely give us a uh, 700. And as you guys see right now, this car doesn't have any traction issues. This thing hooks up hella good. So I don't want to mess up the characteristics. I actually like the way uh, it feels right now. This thing is nasty from a 40 and a 60 roll. So right now it has just the perfect amount of grip and power, but I really want to reach my goal. So hopefully when we do crack seven, this thing will not spin and it will continue to perform how it is. So just getting here to the shop, about to pull this thing apart, get the new pulley on. Hmm, two options right here, two extra PSI, four extra PSI, additional 50 to 60 horsepower, additional 100 horsepower, about 80 to 100, hmm, 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 any, mini money, mo. Alright, I'm fully uh, tangent.